The quality and durability of automotive exterior finishes has improved dramatically in the last 20 to 30 years. The dismal corrosion protection performance of the 70s and 80s is still within the memory of many car owners today. In the past, a new car owner, especially those in the northern climates, could consider themselves lucky if cosmetic corrosion or blistering didn't start to appear on the exterior of their vehicles within the first couple of years of ownership. Perforation corrosion would soon follow, with extensive corrosion manifesting itself in the first four or five years of a vehicle's life. These days it is considered routine for a vehicle to go for a decade without any evidence of exterior cosmetic corrosion. Indeed, many OEMs now offer 10-year warranties against perforation corrosion. What's changed? One of the biggest factors in this improved corrosion performance is that manufacturers are using much better pre-treatment coatings on their steel structures. A thin layer of zinc phosphate used to be the standard steel pre-treatment coating before a top coat system was applied. The primary benefit of this pre-treatment was to provide improved adhesion for the top coat system but minimal corrosion protection was achieved. Today's vehicles have much improved coating systems where the coating systems are designed specifically to provide corrosion protection as well as adhesion for top coat systems. Also, greatly improved are the environmental simulation tests available to the industry to evaluate the effectiveness of these systems. Up until very recently, the standard corrosion test was the ASTM B117 neutral salt spray test. Originally developed way back in the 1930s, the test method has remained almost the same in the intervening 80 years. While the test had a reasonably good correlation for galvanized steel structures exposed to marine environments, it never had good correlation with the blistering type of corrosion evident on vehicles exposed to salt de-icing media. In the 1990s, automotive manufacturers began to research new corrosion testing methods which would provide better correlation with real-world corrosion results. The result of this research was the cyclic corrosion test. As opposed to the steady-state high humidity environment of the neutral salt spray test, a cyclic corrosion test usually cycles between different environments. A test can include a salt spray phase similar to a neutral salt spray, an air drying phase which can be done at ambient or elevated temperatures, a condensation humidity phase usually performed at elevated temperatures and 95 to 100 percent relative humidity, a wetting or condensation phase, a cycling humidity phase. Manufacturers determined that these cyclic corrosion tests correlated very well with the real-world performance However, one of the drawbacks of cyclic corrosion lab tests was that they greatly increase exposure time, where a standard neutral salt spray test might run for two weeks or in extreme cases as long as six weeks. A standard cyclic corrosion test will typically run for a minimum of six weeks, with the longest test running for 16 weeks or more. Cyclic corrosion tests today have almost completely replaced the neutral salt spray test for corrosion evaluation in the automotive industry.